Yo yo people, Garrett Dune here for another video. So guys, this video is going to be in Farming Simulator 19 and today we are finally going to be starting the brand new CJ Boats dealership. We are on a new map, we have a completely new setup, everything has changed. Uh, there is actually a few similarities, but the location's different, the map's different, the lake's different. It's going to be a lot of fun. So yeah, we're all headed on over. Here it is, guys. Look at that. Boat service. So that is where Bolt works to fix stuff. We have our main building over there. It's very similar to the last. We had the same builders create it. Really, really cool. But yeah, it is completely empty because, again, this is a new location. So anything that we have it over here is gonna have to be brought right now all right guys so i think this is probably a pretty good time to unload what we have so let's fold out the trailer and let's back this new holland up now i think this is actually new because in the past we were working with deers instead so very very cool all right man this is our new place to work now cj of course he's gone again he's on a camping trip you know he's got other priorities i thought his other priorities was making this, but he's still on a camping trip. Can't figure it out, but this is our new battleground. This is where we make all our money, okay? Ten boats a week is the goal. Ten? Yes, sir. A million dollars in revenue a week. What do you guys My think of spot. the new new work truck with the black rims? I think it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. I, I, yeah. I like the upgrade. Anybody else too. feel like it got smaller, though? Oh, yes. It's because it's so, single cabs. feels like a smart car. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. This is this is the place, guys. Let's go check it out. Come inside. Same setup. Yep. Same construction. Same framing. Same square footage. Everything. So. It was the same builders, right? Yep. Same exact. Pretty nice showroom we got here. Yeah. No. It's uh. It's pretty much exactly what we had before. And then the lake. The lake is a bit better. It's an extra. What was the last one? What was it? It was a fifty-acre lake, right? Yeah, around that. Yeah, it's pretty big. Around around. There, yeah. This one's got a river. Uh, CJ river said, river. yeah. CJ said this is about. 85 and then yeah and then the river like you said so yeah definitely an upgrade hopefully more customers that means i think so a lot of people come to this lake and then of course we were the first ones to build on it but there's three ramps on this lake not including this one so and then the service shop is up there too but right now let's get all the inventory down here let's fill the dealership and then i kind of want to show you i i want to check out the river at least i think yeah only jet skis is that right yeah Jet ski is a donation. All right, guys. So we are headed over to the shop area. It's around where we started, a little bit further, actually. But we're going to be picking up a few boats. I don't know how many exactly we're starting with. Obviously, we'll have more come as time goes. But once we get to know the locals, we'll have a better idea of how much inventory we actually need. All right, guys. So I got our first jet ski to bring over. All the other guys already left. I was struggling to get it attached. I don't know why, but anyways, we are finally moving. So let's head on over. I'm actually really happy because the spot we used to have our deliveries to was very, very far from the actual dealership. Now, I'm not going to say that this one's close, but it's definitely a shorter distance than previously, like what we had. You can see the roof of the dealership over there. If you look way off in the distance. Really, actually, I'm starting to like this landscape. It is growing on me quickly. I was thinking I was going to miss the old dealership, but honestly, I think there's so much more potential here. And obviously, a full new group of customers is always good for our sales. Are we parking these outside? Okay, wait, it, it looks like that's what they're doing. Let me see. Usually, we leave Cedus inside. I guess I would just want to keep it clear for now. Oh, you know what? Okay, I'm just going to throw mine in. If we have to move it later, then we will. All right, so let's turn this bad boy around so we can back on up. The Tremor definitely does a better job than our Fleetwood did. And guys, the Fleetwood will be back. Don't worry. It's not gone forever just because we're driving this. All right, so let's go ahead and detach. There we go. And pick up the next boat. All right, guys, so we are headed down. We have another load, and I actually got a friend this time. Hello, Carbonado. Hey, Garrett. How you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good? How you about ex you? you? I'm doing good, too. You excited for the new dealership? Oh, yeah. Yeah? There's lots of boats we're bringing down here today. I know. I heard the boat. We have a bigger lake, and we have a river, too, so I'm excited. Yeah, no, it's going to be an awesome setup. It should make for a pretty good dealership, and hopefully we make quite a bit of money from it, too. All right, we are here. Do, do you like how it looks, Carmato? Yeah, I love how it looks. It's a pretty big entrance. 
Uh, but also, yeah. I like how... Did you see the service shop at the old dealership? No, I didn't, actually. It, it was a lot further away than this. Like, we had to go through the main road, but now we just take our little side street. So that's quite nice. Or a little side pathway, I should say. <laughs> it's all the same little entrance area. Yeah. All right, so it looks like Spencer's backing it up. Oh, he's kind of struggling, though. Let's see if we can do a better job. <laughs> you want me to hop out and help you? Uh, it should be okay. As long as Spencer gets out of the way. There we go. <laughs> All right, yeah, so I'll back this up. I'm thinking to put it kind of near the door, similar to how we had one of them at the old place. Do you, you want to hop out and let me know on the left-hand side of my truck? Yeah, that side. Just see if I'm... Let me know if I get too close to the wall or the door. Keep coming. Keep, keep coming. coming. Okay. How's that? Is there enough space to walk by? Uh, pull a little forward. Forward? Okay. Like that? There. Yep. Okay, perfect. Yep. There we go. I'm going to detach. If you just want to make sure it's all hooked up right. Yep. Yeah, okay. There we are. Perfect. Join Lava Mod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modding creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Garrett, Carb, come look at Ian, dude. What is he doing? Like, did he drive with his trunk open? Yeah, he did. He's trying to hide it right now. Oh. See this bumper? See this bumper? That yeah. bumper. Let's go. Say hello to my little friend. Oh my. What about it? Oh. Is your Range Rover okay? I think it hit my arm. Yeah, yeah, get. I don't, I don't need to be hit again. Get your arm and got nothing on the Range Rover. So his, the Range Rover was so, is so small and weak, he had to open the trunk because the uh, the bow of the boat was sticking like too far out. But are you guys ready to explore the lake? I'm. I'm. Is everybody getting on jet skis? Because I, I want to take us all up through the river. Yeah, no, I definitely want to check out that river. Is Bolt, what is he doing there? Just sorting things out? Yeah, yeah. he's just being our mechanic. Yeah, when are you trade, trading up for a pickup truck with this, man? This Range Rover. Pickup truck? You mean luxury car? Lu yeah, no, luxury cars don't up pull boats. A pickup truck. Truck. I don't know about a pickup truck, man. I mean, I do like those Yukons. Those are cool. All right, guys, so we are moving here. Look at this. Now, I am not used to water like this. It is quite choppy, as you guys can tell. If you look at our sea dew, it is wobbling a little bit, but I think we'll get the hang of it. Now, I heard this lake is bigger. It's kind of hard to tell because there's no like center island. All right, so here is that really cool river that we now have. Again, had nothing like this in the past. Honestly, we really only should be riding sea dews on here, but I'm guessing if you have like a really small fishing boat, you can probably get away with it. Go thread the needle through these rocks. There are quite a few. I don't know if we can talk to the city about getting these removed or not, or at least shifted over, because, yeah, some of those are definitely a safety hazard when boating through. You don't want to go too fast. There we go. Who's that? Is that Ian? He's just cruising by. We have Carbonado on that one, and then I guess we should see Spencer here shortly, too. He is ahead of us. There he is. Oh, look at that. I'm pretty sure he just drifted a bit. That is awesome. Yeah, I'm just going to do some donuts here. Woohoo! All right, so let's head on back down. There we go. Is someone beached over there? Or what's happening? Looks like Spencer might have had a bit of trouble driving. No biggie. Seems to be all good now. Go nice and slow until we know this landscape better. All right, so moving on through here. There we go. Keep on going. All righty. Got to go right through here. Awesome. We're back on the open water. I want to see what kind of speed you can get up to. Try some drifting. Again, I'm a little scared just because we haven't been on this water too much and it's definitely more choppy than we previously were on. But should be able to get something going here. There we go. Ooh. Oh, we okay. We completely lost any kind of traction there. Our motor is going the opposite direction of us. Come on. There we go. Just watch the turns. Don't go too sharp and we should be all good. Ooh, Carnado is moving nicely there we go hey garrett hey what are you thinking of this new lake pretty nice i was going pretty fast nice calm water yeah i i did run into a bit of a choppy spot but the most I part ran into seems this guy good. here i passed him up in the river i almost ran into a rock yeah nice. i did i did too C can we get those like moved or talk They're to moved? the city or something because i uh, like there's... i don't think i doubt so. it I feel like if I we, I feel like if we approach it as like a safety hazard, maybe one or two. Garrett, of them. you want to go out there and try to move that? Oh, I know. I never said I am. 
I, I just said we contact the city and they can figure it out. <laughs> I flipped the jet ski. You flipped? You did flip it? When? I did flip it, but you can flip back over with the little handle on the bottom. Oh, yeah, but... But how Shouldn't did... it have flipped over on its own? I was doing some tricks. Okay. Uh, of course you were. <laughs> yeah, you know me. Typical Ian. Typical Ian. Yeah. I think <laughs> doing high water, that would be a little bit better because I remember... I saw something on YouTube where around here they were doing some some boat races john boat races where they have like uh they're almost like hovercrafts but they're john boats do you guys know what i'm talking about yeah, yeah. and the guy in the front's throwing his weight around to try and steer and then the guy in the back is doing that'd be pretty cool to do back there yeah definitely. i want to take the sport boat out on this thing i'm gonna rip uh, i want to go back in the river with the sport <laughs> boat not in the river i'll just stay in here but it's way too shallow do you guys know though if we could get like a small fishing boat if we go slowly or is that too risky we have those hovercrafts that we sell. Well, some uh, some of the nicer fishing boats they have those anchors that they drop down on the back, and it's um those they're they're called power poles. That's what it is. Oh, so okay. They, yeah. They drop they those down. down. Yeah, they anchor you down in super shallow water, and it's, so I, I I've seen guys drag them, and then they know how, they're getting shallow when mm -hmm. when those. And start you can raise them. your motor too if it's too shallow on the trim. Yeah. Yeah. Probably to a certain extent. Yeah, we might have to check that out someday. Try that out. Yeah, that would be really Definitely. cool. All right, I'm going to keep zipping around. Are you, Ian, you say you're getting on the speedboat? Uh, yeah, I probably will. I got to oh. test it out make sure it runs right. And stuff. Yeah, I saw you yeah. moving there. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can pop a wheelie in this. Alrighty, guys. So I'm going to try doing some first-person driving. Sorry if that's not really a style. I know some people prefer first-person. Some prefer third-person. It's unfortunate that I can't make all you guys happy with it. But hopefully, mixing between the two does work. Yeah, okay, I want to see how fast we can get through that river area because we did our first trial run. We kind of have a sense. I'm, I'm happy we went slow because of the rocks and everything. But now that we've done it once, I have a pretty, pretty good memory, I'd say. We should be able to do it again. All right, so let's try getting through here. Um, okay, wait, that area seems to be a lot tighter. What if we go around this way? Is it wider or is it about the same? Okay, yeah, this way is definitely wider. Okay, so that's going to be the path we take in the future. We just have to watch out for the bridge, of course. And then for this rock, it seems like staying on the left side works as well. Ooh, it does get quite low there, though. That's a bit worrying. Keep moving through. Gain a bit of speed. Now, I'm not too sure how far we're allowed to go before we run into someone's property or something like that. So I'm not going to just go through the whole river. But we're getting quite a bit of distance. Oh, actually, you know what? Here is our barrier. It is a bridge. So I wonder, is that meant for vehicles? It looks like it is. Now, it is between two farms, though. So we're going to have to talk to the neighbors. I I'm curious if we can maybe get a ramp to go over or do some kind of stunt job. And they probably won't allow that. Uh, if they do, we'll have to wait till a bit later once we kind of know them better and have a bit of a relationship built. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video here today. If you did enjoy, please drop a like and consider subscribing. Also, let me know down below what you thought of the new location. I'm really happy. I'm looking forward to the future of this series. It's going to add a ton of possibilities. Also, if any modders are watching and you are working on a boat, let us know. Even if it's just like a trailer boat, let us know. We might be able to throw it in the series. So, yeah. Check all the links down below in the description. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.